Welcome back to my channel. Now when it turns a bit colder, not all of us have the money to go out and buy ourselves a whole brand new autumn winter wardrobe. I certainly don't. And so today's video is just to show you some of the items that I'm pulling back out of last year's wardrobe and I'm going to wear again this year because actually they're, excuse the pun, bang on trend for 2018. Now that doesn't always happen, quite often there's trends one winter and the following winter it is not on trend to wear that anymore. But there's so many items that I either bought last year or already had which are now still on trend this year and so I'm getting them back out and I'm going to rock them again this winter and I thought I would show you 15 of those items in this video. I'm also going to link you alternatives if you didn't manage to snap up one of these items last year there's loads of similar items on the high street right now. So this video is 15 items from last year's wardrobe that I'm rocking for autumn winter 18. So item number one is the leopard coat. Now I've had a leopard coat for the last four or five winters. I honestly think that this is one of those items that you will be able to get out of your wardrobe again and again every year because even if you're not somebody who wants to rock the trends, leopard print coat is just the best for autumn winter in my opinion. And I actually have two. One is a faux fur, which is this one, and I got mine from F&F &F at Tesco's. It was an absolute bargain at around about £40, and I have worn it to death. It is so soft, it is so snuggly and warm, it's the perfect length. It goes with everything. I wear it with clashing prints. I wear it with jeans, a simple jumper. I've worn it on nights out. It honestly is one of the most worn coats in my wardrobe. The other type of leopard print coat which I actually have, and I got it last year, is this one. Now, I actually bought this um, on a buying and selling app called Macari. It's actually a Topshop coat. I think it's a Topshop coat that was past season last year, so it's probably from the season before. And funnily enough, I was actually gonna put this coat up for sale because I wasn't too sure about it. But then I saw what was coming in stores for autumn, winter 18, and this type of leopard print is absolutely bang on trend for now. And that is this kind of like, like printed leopard print rather than a faux fur like the other one. And this kind of like suit style jacket. So I've 100% obviously kept it. Um, again, it's so versatile. It goes with jeans, it goes with dresses. It's not as thick as the faux fur one, but you can fit under a big snuggly jumper. But yeah, it's a really, really versatile coat and it happens to be absolutely bang on trend for this year. I mean, that's going to be my most used phrase in this video. And to be honest, that is where my blog name came from. So there we go. Um, but yeah, leopard print coat. Definitely, if you've got one in your wardrobe, get it back out this year. Get wearing it. It's totally and totally perfect for autumn, winter 18. So item number two from my wardrobe last year, which I, um, I've already worn it, it's been on my Instagram already, is a jacket that I bought and I had once again planned to send it back. And I wore it and was like, no, it's so nice, I can't send it back. And that is my bright yellow biker jacket. Now, who would believe that a bright yellow biker jacket would be so versatile? I've worn it with everything. And whenever I wear it, I get compliments about it. I get asked where it's from. And um, whenever I put it on Instagram, it always does really, really well. And it's so funny because I just really didn't think that I would get so much wear out of it. And I absolutely adore it. So this is all about coloured biker jackets, not necessarily yellow, but a coloured biker jacket will be a surprising, a surprisingly versatile piece in your wardrobe. So if you had one last year, get it back out this year. They're all over the high street in like hues of red, um, okra, yellow. I've seen um, green ones. Green is a big colour for autumn, winter 18. So if you had a coloured biker jacket last year, get it back out your wardrobe, get wearing it. This looks amazing with a stripy um, polar neck underneath. Um, I've worn it over jumpsuits. It just literally is so versatile. Mine was from ASOS, it's from the brand Stradivarius. Um, so it was super cheap and yeah, love, love, love. 
So count number three is another purchase last year which I considered selling this year and then I spotted them all over the high street and I thought right I won't be selling it then I will be wearing it so I've got it back out back off the depot pile and I've been wearing it recently and that is the aviator coat this was a huge trend last year and it is back this year so if you bought yourself one last year in black or brown whatever color you bought it is still on trend for autumn winter 18 so get it back out your wardrobe and get wearing it mine is absolutely covered in dog hair and I think that was one of the reasons why I was going to sell it so I do need to attack it with a lint roller but it is so warm, so snuggly. Um, mine came from, I can't remember where mine came from actually, originally. Oh, I think it's from the website um, Brand Alley, maybe? I'll link it if it, well, obviously I'll link a similar one down in the description box. But this kind of jacket, perfect, perfect for going to bonfires and fireworks and because it is so warm, goes with everything because it's black. But like I said, if you had a tan one last year, or a brown one, they are still on trend this year. So get it back out of your wardrobe and get wearing it with a nice big chunky jumper and a big pair of boots. That's how I'd wear mine. So item number four is the last coat that I'm gonna show you. And this is a classic staple in anybody's wardrobe. And it, this you could get out every autumn winter, I think. And that is a camel colored coat. Camel is such an easy colour to wear, it goes with everything, it's a classic, classic colour of coat and you honestly, if you have one, you will get it out of your wardrobe every season. Mine is actually from Bowdoin and it does need a dry clean because I wore it so much last year. It's got this kind of like brushed effect to it, um, it's like three quarter length suit style, is that what we call this kind of jacket? Tailored, tailored coat. But I wore this to death last year and I am so happy to see that camel coats are still a big trend for autumn winter. So this is back out of my wardrobe, it's back being paired with dresses when I rarely wear dresses but it looks amazing with dresses. It would look great just layered over this jumper. It's just a really easy to wear coat, really smart as well if you want to be kind of smart but I've also worn it with scruffy trainers and jeans and it also looks equally good. So yeah, camel coat, if you've got one in your wardrobe, drag it out, get wearing it again, don't buy one. Um, if you don't have a camel coat, do buy one. Honestly, you will be surprised how much wear you'll get out of it and I will link um, an alternative down in the description box that's similar to this one. But yeah, camel coat has come back out and is being worn. Item number five is a pair of boots I bought very late on last season and I am so happy that this trend is back around for autumn winter 18 and that is chunky boots with pearl details. Now I bought mine from Primark, like I said, they were, I think they were the last pair there and I bought them quite late on in the season so I didn't get much wear out of them and I was over the moon when I saw shops popping up with more pairs of boots with pearl details like this so I'm really happy that I'm going to get wear out of them this autumn winter. So again if you guys bought a pair last year that were sort of chunky utility boots, even without the pearls, chunky utility boots are back in for autumn winter. So yeah, drag them back out of your wardrobe and get wearing them again. And if you didn't get a pair, then yeah, pearl embellished boots are massive again for winter. Um, and actually they're surprisingly versatile. Like I thought I would look like a big um, glumping idiot in these, partly because I have size eight feet. I'm like, I'm like a bean pole, but with massive feet, and it's always been a bit of a problem. But the idea is with this kind of style of boot is that your feet are going to look big, so I think you just have to embrace it. Um, but yeah, these have come back out the wardrobe, and I've been wearing these. These look really cute with like little floral midi dresses, where the you know your top half's quite pretty and ditzy, and then you wear this chunky boot on the bottom. Um, so yeah, they were my pair, and I shall link a similar pair in the description box. Item number six is leopard print again. Now these boots are actually older than last season. I think these are two seasons old and I got them back out last autumn winter and I've got them back out this autumn winter and they are still so on trend and so many stores have got similar versions in now. So I should be able to very easily link a very similar pair in the description box. 
and that is a pair of leopard print boots. Now these are not only leopard print but they're kind of like a fake pony hair. Um, these were from Next originally. They were really good style because they're flat. They're like a flat Chelsea boot with a zip up the side. Nice um, point on the front and yeah so comfy really versatile i like a little pop of leopard print on the bottom like you could imagine so i've got jeans on with this jumper you can imagine these boots on the bottom and then that plain camel coat just really cool really smart for autumn and yeah really comfy and quite practical so don't be afraid of the leopard print boot but yeah if you bought a pair last year or the year before get them back out rock them this year and if you didn't get a pair then I shall link a very nice pair below in the description box if you fancy adding some leopard print to your feet for autumn winter 18. So item number, I don't know what number we're up to, seven. Item number seven is the final pair of boots and that is, I don't know whether we would call these cowboy, yeah, cowboy buckle boots. So cowboy boots are massive for autumn winter and especially white ones. I wish that I'd bought a white pair last year. However, I bought this black pair uh, last year from Peacocks. These were from Peacocks. I remember because they were very similar to a pair that I'd seen on Emma. I think Emma's were June and um, I found these which were a cheaper alternative from Peacocks. They're kind of like a faux suede with the gunmetal buckle, two buckle details on the side, but they've got that kind of like cowboy edge to them. Yeah, cowboy boots back in for autumn winter, so these will very happily make an outfit for autumn winter 18 this year, even though they're a year old. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get them back out and rock them. Again, look really cute with midi skirts or dresses. Um, I like mine with skinny jeans because um, I am a jeans wearer. Um, but yeah, they're they're really versatile. The only thing is they do slightly um, clink when I walk, which makes it sound like I'm wearing spurs. But I kind of like that about them. So yeah, I'll definitely be wearing these for autumn winter 18. So item number eight was on my Depop pile. It was well and truly on my Depop pile. And then I saw them all over the high street and thought, right, well, maybe I won't sell them. Maybe I will give them another chance. And that is the leather look trouser. Now, I like these, but I'm all about comfort. And I think one of the reasons why these ended up on the Depop pile is because they're not the comfiest thing in the world to wear. They're not too bad. They're not like PVC where you're kind of like sweating and squeaking. These are actually more of a coated jean, but they have that leather look um, to them. And they're like a stretchy jean. So they do have a bit of give to them, but I just, yeah, I never got the wear out of them that I should have done. Well, I'm gonna give them another go because they are on trend for autumn winter. And in fact, leather trousers and PVC trousers are back in again. I don't know if you remember last year, there was the super high shine PVC trousers, which you had to be quite brave to wear, but they are back, you know? If so actually, if you bought a pair of them last year and everybody said, why have you bought them? They're not gonna be in fashion next year. They are. So you can wear them again, you can get more wear out of them. But yeah, I'm going to try and get some more wear out of these. These were from Tesco's. I think I just invested in a cheap pair because I wasn't sure whether I was 100% on board with the trend. Um, will I buy another pair this year? No, because I'm just going to try and wear these. So I'm going to wear these, I think, with a nice big chunky jumper. Maybe those black cowboy boots with the buckles. That's how I'm going to wear them, I think, and see if I can convert myself to being more comfortable in them, <laughs> if that's the right thing to say. Yeah, but definitely going to get them back out and wear them again. So that is item number eight. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to, these are a few jumpers. Now jumpers, let's be honest, every year jumpers are applicable, but I think I have this funny thing about jumpers, if they get too bobbly or too like ratty, I do get rid of them, I recycle them. Um, I am a bit funny about my knitwear, but a good jumper I will keep and wear season after season. There are a few jumpers in my collection which I am so surprised, they are massively on trend for autumn winter and who would have believed it? Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of them. So the first one is this chunky mustard jumper which I got from H&M 
last year. Now mustard is a big colour for autumn winter. A chunky knit is always good for autumn winter but this colour in particular and this style of knit is just it's back in for autumn winter 18 so I can happily wear this this year and feel like I'm you know I'm on trend, I'm current uh, and that makes me really happy because it didn't get much wear out of this jumper last year. Again I think I bought it late on in the season and then then it turns warmer and you pack it away and you think oh what a waste of money if only I'd got more wear out of it well hello autumn winter 18 I am gonna wear this to death so yeah love it mustard big colour so if you had anything mustard last year uh, for autumn winter get it back out this year and get wearing it the next jumper is a classic style of jumper which I think will be on trend every season and that is the kind of fair aisle slightly Christmassy jumper. I think it's a nice way to rock Christmas without being obviously Christmas. So fair aisle is this kind of um, style of print. I got this jumper in the sale at Marks and Spencers. It's actually like a size, I think it's like a size 16 or 14 or something. It's massive but it's so cosy and I just love the print and it was super cheap in the sale. It's got this button details but any kind of fair isle jumper that you already have is perfect for autumn winter 18 because I honestly think it's a print that just works every autumn winter because it says hello Christmas like I said without being you know Santa on the front of your jumper so yeah anything fair isle get rocking it maybe not maybe not quite yet although some places have had snow this week because of the temperatures dropping but I don't know if we're quite at fair isle jumpers yet wait till after bonfire night and then I reckon get them out your wardrobe and get wearing them another top now in fact this top is so on trend that Zara which is where it's from have actually brought it out again this year so that proves how on trend it is and that is this little, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, um, pearl embellished beige jumper. I think they do it in grey as well. I bought this last year and my mum said, oh, it's a bit impractical. I bought it because I thought it was so pretty and I got so much wear out of it because it's just this nice kind of slightly dressier jumper. So I would wear it to go out for drinks or if I went out for you know a nice Sunday lunch or something like that. It's really, really wearable. It's three quarter length sleeve, so it's not gonna keep you like the warmest ever, so you have to layer up with a coat. But pearl embellished pieces are totally back in for autumn winter. So again, this has come back out of my wardrobe. As I said, Zara is actually selling the exact jumper still, so I can link you the exact jumper. It was really cheap as well. And as my mum thought it wouldn't, it does actually wash okay. She thought it wouldn't wash that well and all the pearls would ping off, but actually, it's done really, really well and I really love it. It's still a really like favourite piece of mine in my wardrobe and in fact has stayed in my wardrobe through spring and summer because actually it looked really nice with white um, in the spring. So yeah, pearl embellished pieces still on trend for autumn winter 18. So get them back out or get yourself some pearl, embe pearl embellished pieces bought for your autumn winter wardrobe. So another jumper which is a classic which you'll be able to get out of your wardrobe every year I think and that is the bright striped jumper. A striped jumper, especially one with a little bit of colour to it, is just the perfect autumn winter piece every autumn winter I think. This is mine from Bowdoin and this is actually a slightly more expensive one because it's cashmere and I actually think because it's such just a classic jumper, basic crew neck, nice bright stripes, it's worth spending just that little bit more. This is still in perfect condition because with cashmere you've got to be quite careful how you wash it so it's very happily um, to be worn this year. You know it's not bobbly, it doesn't look ratty or anything like that, you know it still looks like as new. And yeah, still totally on trend for autumn winter. Bowdoin sell their version of this every year, so I can link you their version this year. But stripes, you can never go wrong with stripes. Really easy to wear with jeans on the weekend, smarter trousers if you wanna you know, go out for drinks, wear it with some nice big sparkly earrings. It's really nice for winter drinks. I just think it's a really, really versatile piece and it's totally still on trend for autumn winter 18. So I will be wearing this this year with pride.
And item number 13 is this. Yeah, I've been wearing it the whole time. So this is the sparkly Christmas jumper. Now this is my beloved Joni Cloven jumper. This was so popular last year. I actually think it sold out. I think Holly Willoughby wore it on this morning and then it just, it went nuts. Well, I had mine before Holly. So yeah, Holly Willoughby. Anyway, yeah, I love it. It's got a nice bit of sparkle to it. It's really nice for like Christmas parties. It's really comfy. It's just, it's just so cute and I love it. And Joni clothing is one of those hidden gems for slogan jumpers and in fact, this jumper is still available to buy this year and it will be one of those jumpers that I'm going to get out every Christmas because I just think, well even before Christmas, I just think it's really cute, it's really different, it's just a classic piece and I don't think that it will date. I think every year it will be a fun little thing to put on, you know, for winter with some nice sparkly earrings, head out for drinks in your sparkly jumper. It basically sounds like all I'm doing this autumn winter is going out for drinks. It's not, I actually have no life, so I don't go anywhere. <laughs> so I just wear it around the house like I'm doing today. But yeah, sparkly Christmassy jumper. If you had one last year, get it back out this year. You can totally rock it for autumn winter 18. Okay, so items 14 and 15 that I'm getting back out my wardrobe and wearing this year, they are both hats. Let's be honest, as soon as it gets cold, I get very excited that I can wear a hat. A, because I don't have to do my hair anymore, and B, because I just really, really like hats, especially bobber hats. So the first item that I'm saying you can get back out your wardrobe and wear this year is the, is the bobble hat. Because let's be honest, it will never not be in fashion, will it, the bobble hat? They're just, they're a classic winter item. Comfy, cosy, and actually, on trend every season so in fact this little hat which is a beautiful oh, i'll put it on a beautiful embellished pom-pom hat look how size that pom-pom is actually from top shop i bought it last year in the sale as you're gathering i love a sale bargain sometimes you can buy things in the winter sale and they're a waste of money I think what you have to buy in the January sales are pieces that are still going to be on trend for the following year. So classic pieces like classic coats, hats, scarves, you're never not going to need those things next year. And that is true of this hat. So I think this was a bargain. It's, it was like £2 or something. It was ridiculously cheap because um, one of the gems was falling off and I just took that one gem off. So it's just got one less gem. Doesn't really affect it, I don't think. But embellished hats are in the shops again this year. Grey and pink will never not be, you know, a good colour combination. So this has very happily come back out of my wardrobe from last year. And uh, I'm going to be wearing it again this year. So yeah, any bobble hats, get them back out. Get wearing them. I should have done that as the last item really, shouldn't I? Because now my hair's psychotic. But yeah, item number 14 oh it's raining hmm. and the last item item number 15 is another hat and that is the baker boy hat i bought mine last year uh wasn't convinced that i could pull it off and i was reliably informed when i wore it and put it on my instagram that actually it did suit me and so yeah i've kept it obviously uh, and this year, you will see that they are back in the shops again. Hurrah, hurrah. So for those people who bought one last year, like me, good news. You can wear your Baker Boy hat again this year and be on trend. And for those people who didn't buy one, the good news is you can buy one because they're back in the shops. And in fact, back exactly like this one with a little button detail and the braid across the front. In fact... I know for a fact they are in the shops because I have actually bought a grey version and I will show you that as part of my what's new in my autumn wardrobe because as I said I have bought a couple of things and I've obviously been gifted some things and so I will have a video showing you some of the new things in my wardrobe but this is number 15 of the items that I have got out of last year's wardrobe and I'm going to be wearing again this year. And that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing all those items that I'm getting back out of my wardrobe and I'm wearing again this year. I'd love to know what your favourite is and what you're getting back out of your wardrobe this year and that you're really happy that you bought last year because you can wear it again this year. And also, as I said, I'll link as many things as I can, alternatives or similar items in the description box. So thanks so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I shall see you again next time. Bye. Squeaky this chair. Welcome back to my, why do I always do that?